Here's a little background leading up to the two cent piece. The U.S. Mint began producing the silver three cent piece in 1851. It's a very small coin, smaller than a modern dime and quite thin. The U.S. Mint began producing the copper nickel flying eagle cent in 1856 and minted it through 1858. This is the first U.S. small cent. It has the same diameter as the modern Lincoln cent, but is about twice as thick. Flying Eagle scent was replaced in 1859 by a new Indian Head scent. The 1859 Indian Head scent has the same composition of copper nickel as the Flying Eagles, and it's the same size as the Flying Eagle. In 1864, the Mint changed the Indian Head scent to a mostly copper alloy and changed the thickness to be the same as modern scents. In the same year, the two cent piece debuted with the same new copper alloy. Two more new coins were issued in 1855 and 1856. The copper nickel version of the three cent piece was introduced in 1865, and the first U.S. five cent coin, the copper nickel shield cent, started production in 1866. The two cent piece was made through 1872, and a proof only version was made in 1873. The two cent piece drifted into the annals of history after 10 years of production. The demise of this issue could have been predicted by examining the steady decline of the number minted each year. The two cent piece was only manufactured for 10 years, and the mintages were low in the later years. This is not a particularly popular coin among collectors, so the prices are fairly low relative to other coins with lower mintage numbers. It is an attractive coin and is found in many typesets. In my opinion, the two cent piece would be a good coin to invest in for price appreciation.